Hey everyone, Michael Short here. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, welcome to Minnow Lake. And what I think is a optimistic story about the fishing future of Alberta. Over the last number of decades, uh, walleye stocking has taken place on Minnow Lake, so the question begs to be asked, why target it again? Uh, so this lake's being targeted again for stocking of walleye, uh, mostly because we've actually had a, an objective change. So in the past, we tried to stock this lake uh, with walleye so that would be a self-sustaining lake, uh, self-sustaining walleye population. Uh, however, We've come to the realization that walleye don't uh, naturally reproduce in this lake very well. So we're going to assist it and we're going to stock it on an annual basis. And hopefully we could maintain the fishery through stocking. Minnow Lake is one of three lakes selected here in the Athabasca drainage to be stocked in June of 2023. The fry that were put into this lake ultimately came from Rock Island Lake via the Cold Lake Fish Hatchery. So within drainage, that's something that uh, certainly is important when we've uh, continued to learn from walleye stocking, that uh, one of the important parts is actually taking gametes from the drainage that they're going to be stocked into. Uh, that's going to do a lot of things, including ensuring that we're not transmitting diseases, uh, viruses, etc. Uh, that uh, in the past has been something that um, uh, has been detrimental to the transfer and stocking of fish, uh, not only in Alberta, but in other jurisdictions. Um, what we're looking forward to is continuing to work with the Cold Lake Fish Hatchery. So we, we grab gametes from Rock Island Lake, uh, they're collected and then uh, sent over to the Cold Lake Fish Hatchery where they're raised. And then from there, uh, we work closely with our friends at the Cold Lake Hatchery to uh, put those fish out into waters, uh, including Minnow Lake, uh, which we completed in June this year. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, looking at more opportunities where we can uh, grow this program in northern Alberta, uh, including perhaps outside of the Athabasca drainage. It's important to note that the stocking program here at Minnow Lake and other lakes uh, was based on a commitment fisheries managers made to anglers during public consultation meetings over the last number of winters. And having that voice is extremely important in when we are able to provide opportunities or candidates for stocking such as Minnow Lake and getting their input on the type of fishery that they want to see, experience, feel where uh, harvest is important to them. And through Minnow Lake, we've done that uh, multiple times uh, over multiple years. So we're, we're confident that uh, the fishery that we're attempting to grow here by walleye stocking is one that's gonna meet the expectations of Alberta anglers. As I stated earlier, Minnow Lake is just one of a number of lakes that were selected for stocking here in the Athabasca drainage. So it leads to a question of just how were these lakes selected? Another consideration on to how we select lakes for things like walleye stocking is something we like to call it as the fisheries management cycle. So we go, we, we assess a lake, we apply a status to it based on whatever metric we're using, and then we bring it to the public and we engage with the public. So this is what we did with Minnow Lake. We, we had an assessment. Uh, we found that these fish aren't uh, reproducing uh, and, and in a reliable fashion every once in a while. We have some some good years and some bad years, but it, it's not sus sustaining itself. So we brought, brought this to the public. And when we engaged with uh, the anglers and such, uh, we came to the decision that uh, not, not only is Minnow Lake a good lake biologically and ecologically for walleye stocking, but it's also a lake that's sought after by anglers. They, were, they chose this lake as one of the lakes that they would like to try stocking walleye for the chance to have the opportunity to catch and eat a walleye. Well, as you may have noticed uh, out here this afternoon, a little bit on the hazy side, no doubt smoke coming from British Columbia. That leads to, I guess, what we've seen around the lake here today, and that's a lot of burnt out areas. And the forest fire situation this past year did pose some special challenges when it came to not only stocking Minnow Lake, but the fisheries program overall. 
The first thing is just just extending um, our our empathy for everybody that's been impacted by wildfires, and and our program and our staff have been uh, have been affected just as much. Um, we've had staff that have been part of this, the evacuations of communities. Uh, we've had programs impacted. Uh, the walleye stocking program. Uh, generally was able to be successful this year, um, but a lot of our programs have been deferred or have been adjusted. Uh, assessments that were scheduled to take place in the Edson District, this for example, have either been uh, cancelled or deferred to uh, future years. Uh, in our trout stocking program, for example, uh, we've actually not been able to stock uh, uh, water bodies in some areas such as uh, northern Alberta in the high level and Rainbow Lake areas, but also in Edson where we've had to defer uh, things like spring stocking uh, in towards the fall. So, uh, uh, Lucky for us, uh, Minnow Lake has, ha has a little bit of scarring around the edges, however the campground's still good and we were able to get our walleye stocking in in between evacuations and fires around the lake. So I guess in, in a bad news uh, kind of year, it's a good news kind of story in that uh, it didn't affect Minnow Lake with regards to walleye stocking. The only effect I think would be is that uh, the, the campground was closed a bit during the wildfires, so the lake got a bit of a rest. Um, but we got the walleye in and the walleye program in Minnow Lake is going strong. I think the restocking program up here in the Athabasca drainage holds a great deal of promise. But to be clear, the stocking that's taking place here on Minnow Lake and some of the other lakes in the area is not one to restore or protect existing fish stock, but is simply here to provide additional fishing opportunities. Fisheries management is still uh, a lot about the basics of supply and demand. and. Uh, certainly we've got uh, a large number of anglers in Alberta. Uh, we do have some great opportunities for, for angling uh, as well, but a lot of times those don't necessarily equate. Uh, and that's where something like walleye stocking can come in, Michael. I, I don't know that it's going to be the be all and end all. Uh, I think a lot of Albertans might be surprised to know that we actually do evaluate uh, or have evaluated uh, almost all of our lakes and ponds for either stocking or transfer opportunities. And of course, some are, are better suitable candidates uh, than others. Uh, such as Minnow Lake here. Um, and I think the other piece that we have to keep in mind when we consider stocking is the ecological consequences to that. And by, by de facto with that, uh, policies and legislation that is designed to protect those natural ecological systems. Um, so we do, have to, we, we do have to do walleye stocking and we do have that where we follow policy, we follow procedures in order that we are accounting for that, that ecological function. We don't want to disrupt or alter that. Uh, but where we can do things like walleye stocking or other types of fish transfers to be more complementary uh, and then still meet uh, that, that objective that we've talked with anglers about in providing different types of angling opportunities and, and hopefully also harvest opportunities uh, where we can make those available and it's sustainably uh, and we're sustainably able to do that. Well folks, um, been a bit of a slow day but you know what, that's okay. Uh, it's important to remember that 70,000 fry were put into this lake this past uh, June and uh, I think in three to four years we can come back out here and uh, expect a different result. At least uh, that's what everybody would certainly expect uh, with that many fry in here and, and uh, holding a promise of some pretty good fishing action to come. I want to thank Kate on Wilcox and Mike Blackburn for inviting me out here today and telling this interesting story out here not only on Minnow Lake but the Athabasca drainage and the other lakes that were selected for walleye stocking. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors.